also talked about right now i'm just going to shift a little bit you spoke about origin like we have we have the logo of the of the buddha and the origin thing and and it's really hard for me to understand it because like i was always taught the jiu-jitsu come from japan mm. okay that i will i'm like this is it's really hard for me to connect these yeah, things but this is like a very common common thinking you know because yeah. you're right was developed in Brazil, in japan right yeah. so but like the the roots the source the origin of mm. jiu-jitsu was actually with the monks in india wow. with the zen buddhist monks in india mm. so what was happening back then like they they are like very peaceful people of course they're yeah. monks they meditate you know yeah and and they were like um because they have like gold they were getting stolen by the thugs mm -hmm. like every time they, they they have to go out of the monasteries to buy something to to do something mm -hmm. they were getting stolen all the time and the thugs were always like getting their money and like they said like look we have to do something in order to stop that yeah they are taking all our money what are you gonna do you know mm. and they were like okay so we have to develop something that we cannot be aggressive because we're not aggressive mm -hmm. so we have to create something that we control the aggressor without necessarily making them bleed for example you know so they start a deep study by observing the animals you know mm. they, they were watching how the cat does how the bear does how like the lion like so they were just observing the animals and, and trying to to figure out like uh okay so how we can move and control by using leverage and you know controlling the joints mm -hmm. what we can do here to to stop the these like thugs like uh, uh robbing us you know mm -hmm. so that's when they, they start to develop jiu-jitsu back then the name wasn't jiu-jitsu of course, mm -hmm. but it was the the philosophy of mm -hmm. jiu-jitsu, which is the gentle art. Because jiu-jitsu in Japan, mm -hmm. the meaning is the, the closest meaning in in, in English. Yeah, I think it's the gentle touch or something. Gentle art, yeah. Gentle art? But in Brazil, we call it's a it's a little bit better the translation because we call arte suave. But suave here in English, it's smooth, mm -hmm. but it's not quite the same thing you mm -hmm. know so it's like the gentle art would be the closest thing you know oh, okay so it's the, the that's the principle like i'm gonna control your joints mm -hmm. i'm gonna choke you mm -hmm. but i don't need to punch your face i don't need to kick your head i don't need to you know make you bleed or anything like that yeah. you know mm -hmm. so that's that's when that's the origin and that's why we choose the buddha to mm -hmm. represent there the source of the origin of Jiu Jitsu, you know, mm. like because because the Buddha like represents the same Buddhist, you know, yeah. And so Jiu Jitsu started with the Buddhism. So like doesn't matter if you like your religion, whatever you, you believe, but like if you train Jiu Jitsu, come from this source, you know. Mm. And after that, after India went to China, and they. They developed there too in the, the time of the wars, you know, and everything. Mm. But when went to Japan, as we know, man, the Japanese they are very focused, you know, yeah. and they are very disciplined. And and same as with the cars, for example, they start doing cars, man. They just become like amazing, you know. Yeah. So everything that they they decide start doing, they become very good because they're very yeah. very efficient. So it's the same thing with jujitsu. Hmm. They got this art, they just like, man, we have a powerful tool in our hands. So, man, let's make this even better, you know? And let's lock this between us because in, in that time, it was a war time, like the samurai age and everything. So, man, that was like a advantage, you know? Because they didn't have guns back then, but they have like the sword. But at some point, you lose your sword in the middle of the battlefield. Hmm. So, what are you going to do? You have to have something, right? And man, that's my jiu-jitsu. And the, and the gi is the representation of the armor. So the gi wow. is the armor and the belt is the sword. Hmm. So because the, the armor has to, has to be mobile, you don't have like an armor that you go like a robot. 
Yeah. You, you, the joints, you could move. Yeah. You could like move your knees, you could move your elbow. So it, you could attack that. So that's when like all the jiu-jitsu positions start to, to get like more developed and they, and they were like, man, they did an amazing job in Japan. They were like winning many wars <laughs> using this tactical. And that's why the, the samurais, they were so great mm-hmm. warriors, you know, because they had this secret weapon that people wasn't familiar yet <laughs> until come to Brazil. Because when I come to Brazil, we globalize the thing, the race family, right? So after Japan, they had like these, uh, the Kodokan, which was the, the first, uh, Jujutsu, which was Jujutsu back then. Mm-hmm. And this, in the Kodokan, uh, they were like, uh, this Jigoro Kano was the master. And Mitsui Maeda was one of his disciples. Like a rebel, I would say. The rebel disciple. Right? And, and this Jujutsu mm-hmm. is the roots of many martial arts. So like from the Jujutsu came the Karate, Judo, Judo, um, Aikido, uh, what else? Jiu Jitsu. Muay Thai? No. Muay Thai, no. no, Muay Thai, no. no. I don't think so. The only, the only martial art that was older than Jiu Jitsu, Jiu Jitsu was the oldest one, mm. but the, like, the only that was before was Kung Fu. Kung Fu was even older yeah. in, in China. But like, Jiu Jitsu was like uh, many like, like arms, let's say, like, like branches. You know? Yeah. So judo got the jujutsu part more like the takedowns. Mm-hmm. Jujitsu were more like specialized in the ground part. Yeah. Uh, the karate was more like the kicking part. You know. Yeah. Aikido was more the the self defense. I would say like the the joints and yeah. You know. So they they got like they split the fence. Mm. But this this student like Mitsui Maeda or Konji Koma, mm. he was a rebel, right? So. He wasn't like just following Jigoro Kano and everything. He was a bit like, I just want to fight, you know? Like he was a fighter, you know? Yeah. And, and like he he decided to leave Kodokan and mm-hmm. do his own thing. Because he want to fight and, and Jigoro Kano wasn't like putting him to fight. And he, he was like willing to have like some, to test his jujutsu, right? Yeah. And he was start traveling around the world and having these this fights, you know? like And... And sometimes like some fake fights too, you know, so it was just into like fighting anything and getting money from that, you know. Yeah. And in one of these travels, he ended up in Brazil, in the north part of Brazil, uh, which he met Gastão Gracie, which is the fa- uh, the father of Carlos Gracie and Hilo Gracie and the other Gracies, like yeah. uh, the Gastão Jr., Rivaldo Gracie, George Gracie. And when he met this Japanese guy, he wanna to come to Brazil and he didn't have like the visa or anything like that. Mm-hmm. He was just like, he wanna fight and you know, travel around Brazil to fight. And Gaston was just, hold on, if this gonna work. He had like, imagine you with many like kids, you know, and like your kids are out of control, <laughs> <laughs> fighting each other, you know, fighting yeah. the street, you know, full of energy. Yeah. And he was kind of like, man, I need help, you know? Yeah. So suddenly this guy came telling he has a background and he's like a martial arts instructor and everything. He was like, mm-hmm. oh man, this may be gonna, gonna work for me, you know? And he was working the embassy. So he has the power to, to put the guy in or not, you know? Mm. So he, he could like find a way to, to put me to my head and back in, 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 in the Brazil, in the Brazil soil. And in exchange, he just said, okay, but I want you to teach this martial art thing that you do to my, to my son, you know? And that's when Mitsui Maeda met Carlos Grace, which was the eldest son. Mm-hmm. And, and man, like, he fell in love for Carlos because Carlos was like very, like the temperament of Carlos was like similar to the Japanese ones, you know? Mm. Uh, there's a story that my, my dad, Say like in, in something like in this very like backstage, you know, just the Grace families know and was passed to my dad. And that's the good thing. Like the story that I'm telling you guys, mm. I didn't read for any book, was mm. from my dad 
that <laughs> got from the master, that yeah. got from Helio Grace, you know, <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's, it's the roots of the thing. Right? Yeah. It's not like a video or yeah. it's just something that I study. No, it's no. come from, from the source, you know. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And, and when like he, one of these like trainings, Mitsui Maeda was showing the choke, like the cross choke. Yeah. And he was putting the kids like uh, queuing up mm -hmm. and he was choking one by one. He said, look, when I, when I finish this, you have to tap. All right. He put like all the kids and the kids like tapping, tapping, tap. When he got to Carlos, he choked and Carlos did a tap. I said, all right, I'm going to keep choking. And Carlos still did a tap. And he was looking to his eyes, man, you should tap. Yeah. <laughs> and Carlos was just like, you want to really feel, because he had that kind of temperament. Yeah, man, mm. Japanese, they love that, right? Yeah. Like all the Japanese, man, they, they, they sleep, but they don't tap. <laughs> they rather Back in sleep, the days, yes. Yeah, they rather sleep, but yeah. they don't tap, man. So yeah. they, they're very tough, you know, in this, in this way, like, they, mm -hmm. you know. And, and that was Carlos did. He, he faints. Mm. They choke because they don't tap. Yeah. So man, after that episode, man, uh, Mitsui Maeda was just like, man, that's this kid. He's special. I'm gonna teach everything I know to this kid. You know. Mm. And that's when he started to put all his effort to make Carlos learn. And when Carlos started learning, he started to sharing with the with the brothers. Mm. And and actually, Hilo was like um, 